So how's it going, my comic chat army? Back with another review. We got Black Box Comics, Devil's Dominion. And Starfell, number two. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Look at these two beautiful covers. Let's see that. Really quick, if you know who Black Box is, comment down below what is your favorite Black Box comic book. Oh, yeah. So the book is about Devlin, right? Devlin? Devlin. De I said Devlin. Sounds like you're saying Devlin. Devlin St. Yeah. Paul. And she has, she has literal demons that she learned to control and she's got like a demon sense. Like they, we, in the book they explore a couple of her powers, but I'd like to, I'm gonna try to get a couple more of these to see what other powers she has. There we go, right down there. That's her controlling her demon. So it gives her the ability to track down other demons. And in this story, she is tracking down a killer that is kidnapping women and they can't seem to find the bodies. So they think that they're either getting rid of them or they're still alive. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see this book come up real quick. Book's two years old. If you don't wanna hear the book spoiled, leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell your mom about us and your sister and your brother and your neighbor down the street. Mm. This is your chance. Mm -hmm. So the man, I guess you could say he got possessed by, by the demon, and the demon's making him do things that he doesn't want to do. Oh, yeah. Well, like, after they, we explain who she is, what's her powers, this is the demon. The book, it goes from, like, normal pacing to, like, fast. Mm. I mean, it felt like it was over really quick here. I'll show y'all the demon fight. But I I I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show y'all the end. Mm -hmm. Definitely check it out if you're into if you're into hell and demons and things like that, like like I am. I really like spawn. What else? What else demon book am I reading? And how we fight from image. Belial from Chuck Panu. Chuck who? Yeah, Chuck who Panu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if you don't know Black Box, tell us what your favorite hell comic is down in the comments. What do you rate it? Is it 10? I gave it a, I gave it a, I gave it a seven and a half. It was, it was really good. Nice. Know, yeah. It was the first seven and a half of the year. So, if you guys haven't checked out the first review on it, you'll have to go back and check that out. And there is a little tribute to my hometown tied in with this book. And I took Cody mm -hmm. to see the spot from my hometown when we went to Tampa last month. But, uh, yeah, there's a little... And you, if you read the book or if you saw it, you know what we're talking about. And it's also in a very famous movie. But anyways. I'll insert the, the yeah. side by side. Yeah. You see the very strong resemblance. but Oh, yeah. It's awesome. But so basically, issue two is kind of what I'm guessing is setting up the characters of the story. Basically, it's following Miles and Levy. Levy's in the first book. We'll leave it at that with the. Vol I guess you say Voltaire's, I guess is the family's name. They're really kooky. But anyways, mm. Miles and his dad go on an adventure. I guess I would say maybe his dad's like a geologist. And um, kind of, yeah, I, this kind of ties in with the story. Where so, going? well, that's what we're figuring out. Okay. So, I guess it's like them older is my take on it. I have to continue this book. But anyways, 
So basically, here. I think this is it for now. I think. Yeah. Well, when we do get to continue it, yeah. but um, basically, so yeah, you see chaos when they're a little older because yeah. there's miles, and then it steps back to show you how they got to that point. So basically, Miles and his dad go on an adventure, and uh, like I said, I think he's a geologist. Well. He tries to do some sort of experiment in the woods and all hell breaks <laughs> loose. And meanwhile, meanwhile, Levy is with the crazy family and um, gets into a little issue with one of the daughters and kind of unfolds who they are. Basically, they're like the old money Wow. Town, but like the creepy family you see in those movies that nobody wants to go near. Yeah. So like the one daughter that Levy kind of starts to grow some, I wouldn't say a relationship. But I don't know what it is yet. But Fondness? No, no. He's terrified of her. She like <laughs> cuts his ear mm. when she cuts his ear. But he comes into um, a moment with her dad and the other sister who's a bitch basically. But I don't want to give the end away, but basically it's it's got a good setup for what is to come. Um, we need they, more splash pages. Yeah, that's the thing. There's not, yeah, and you can't, but like I said, basically they it's a setup for. Can't show any of that? No. Okay. Because that's, yeah. Okay. So anyways, um. What was I going to say? Sure, some kind of variants. Of, kind of drew a blank. But so from what I'm guessing, it's like the kids in the town are kind of coming together to deal with what Cody showed you in the beginning. Don't really know what it, what they are, how it came about, but I'm kind of guessing maybe it has something to do with the explosion. Well, we can show that. Miles' dad created because... See right in there, which is yeah, part of the I was beginning. Through it, it was like panel, panel, panel. It's yeah. There's no real like no splash page yeah you know. to break it all up. But like right in here, you can see where he's like, he's, his dad's like, turn up, you know, the voltage or whatever they're doing, and then the explosion happens, and then like these creatures come out. We need more gigawatts. <laughs> these creatures come out, but it's almost like. I kind of feel like maybe the, the family has something to do with it, too, or they know what's going on. But I'm going to okay. leave it at that because I don't want to tell any more because there is some, you know, importance. You can see right there. But, you know, this is it's a good book. That, it's definitely worth checking out. It's different. It kind of has, and it's set in the 60s. So just so you guys know that, which I like that it's set in a different time. But it kind of has, like, that adventure, Goonies meets, you know, Stand By Me, like, all those, like, classic, uh -huh. I don't know, kind of vibes to it. But, you know, it's a good book. Really good book. What do you give it? One out of ten. I give it a nine. I like this book. I'm excited to see where it goes. The tape on this was just... I know. <laughs> yeah. But... All right, guys, if you want to see more reviews, interviews, and some other just random things that I do here and there, <laughs> go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, comment, do all the good YouTube stuff. Um, guys need to push Cody to show you his collection. Yeah, I'll show you all. I keep trying to get him to do some shorts for you guys. Yeah, and now that we switched over to the iPhone, y'all can see more. We live, we live in Cody's world, and <laughs> we really do. No. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's it's a dope collection he's got going. Yep. He works hard for it, so. All right, my Comic Set Army. Until next time. Yep.